What's up guys, Dull Matter here, and today we are going to be reacting to another H2 video. This one is Garfield Kart's Steam Reviews Are Wild. Now, this is one of the few games that I've actually played that he has posted about. Um, almost everything else is like some, I guess this is probably some indie shit. Well, I guess it's probably not indie. It's probably like made by a big developer just because it's like officially licensed product. Um, but I have played this game. I got it in a Humble Bundle, I think, or maybe it was a Fanatical Bundle. It was one of those bundle websites that came with a bunch of other games that I wanted. And, you know, I figured might as well try it out. You know, it's a Mario Kart knockoff, obviously. Uh, most of them are at least half decent, right? None of them really live up to Mario Kart or Diddy Kong Racing. Amazing game. They really need to make a sequel. Uh, but none of them really live up to those, but they're usually at least half decent games. I tried it out. It is horrendous. It is the clunkiest hunk of fuck I've ever played. I think I played maybe a half an hour, an hour. I ended up posting part of that on YouTube, so it's here if you want to watch it. It's not very good quality, but it is here on YouTube. Um, it is horrible. But anyway, let's see what the reviews are, because I imagine a lot of them are just going to be people trolling, because the game is, like, just horrendous. Uh, so anyway, link to the original video down below, and let's check it out. So sometimes I do this thing in my videos where I go to a super popular game and I read the negative reviews for it on Steam. But everyone always suggests that I should flip this on its head yeah, bad and game. read the positive reviews of a game that people don't like. I imagine all of them are either going to be troll reviews or developers, right? People that develop the game or, or their family members like, oh, honey, this game you made is so sweet. And to that, I say... Have you ever heard of Garfield? <laughs> Listen, don't don't tell anyone, but I'm pretty sure something sinister is happening around this game on Steam. I don't know what, but ju just something's not right. These people are not normal. These people are not right in there. 2,000, 48,000. Bro, how do you, 48,000 hours, how? What is that? Let me bust out my calculator here for a second. Where's my calculator app? Okay, 48. 1,236 hours, okay, divided by 24 hours a day is 2,000 days divided by 365. You've played that game for 5.5 years. Has this game even been out that long? When did Garfield Kart come out? I mean, I guess it had to have been. I think it was like five years ago when I played it, but like... How... How... Did you just have it, like, running 24-7 in the background on your PC? It came out in 2013. Okay, so he is... When did, when did this video come out? Three months ago. Literally half the time, like, not even joking, more than half the time since that game has come out, Buddy has at least had it open on his computer. 48,000 hours. Head. But I don't have proof because I've never actually played Garfield Kart. Oh, it's so hard. now 23. Man, how do these people have so many hours on this game? Is there like some glitch you can do where. Oh, I know what I have to go do. Oh, it's so bad. Don't do it. Yeah, it's so clunky. It's so hard to steer. I'm literally Garfield. It was a life-changing experience. Like, it was literally phenomenal. You have to go and play it right now. Like, I get it now. These people are so right. God, I, I love Garfield Kart too, man. They're so right. It's literally Garfield Kart. It is literally Garfield Kart. If Stray was actually good, this is what it would be like, ladies and gentlemen. It'd be, <laughs> it'd be Garfield. We'd be playing as Garfield. This game really makes you feel like Spider-Man. Like, it's just such a mind-boggling experience to play. This guy says it doesn't really <laughs> and the amazing thing, there's got to be some glitch where you can just, like, rack up hours on this game somehow without actually having it open. Because how do so many people have thousands of hours in this fucking game? Really open up until you have at least 1k hours, but I played it for, like, 15 minutes and my life was changed forever. The controls are just flawless. The handling on Garfield is completely incredible. There's definitely not input lag on every single button press you make oh, in the Hunter, entire game. So and bad. the graphics, look at the look at the graphics. The, gra the graphics are so good that my computer literally can't handle it. See, look, look that's that's the power, power, it's the power of Garfield, ladies and gentlemen. It's the power of Garfield's raw sexual energy. After the sheer euphoria of 
playing Garfield Kart as what? That guy's 60 hours. I think that's actually like a legit 60 hours. Because if you were going to fake it, why not just, you know, do like 40,000 hours like everyone else? How do you 40,000 hours? I... Can somebody explain that to me? There's got to be a way to, like, fake your hours or something. On off, I think I'm starting to really see it clearly now. You know, now I've taken a step back. Garfield Kart's just like a crappy mobile port. Its performance is bad because it's a mobile port. There's no controller functionality, even though it tells you you can use a controller in the tutorial. Like, this guy has 52,000 hours in the game, and he's begging for mercy. Look at him. <laughs> Nearly six years held within Garfield's disgusting clutches. What has Garfield done to this poor soul? Also, why is the only sound that Garfield is able to produce in this game, like a weird woofing noise or whatever. <laughs> like, I think it's supposed to be like a woohoo sound, but he barks like a dog. Garfield's not a dog. Garfield's a cat, you stupid animals. Also, now that this guy mentions it, uh, can you bring that review in? Okay, thanks. Yeah, so so now that you mention it, it was pretty graphic. were a bit too graphic for my taste, but overall a fantastic addition to the Star Wars canon. Thick up points, to be honest. Like, it didn't really see- Gosh is back at it again with this Cold War-style shooter. Take the perspective of Vietnam veteran <laughs> Garfield after losing his <laughs> wife and kids and going through a seriously tough time. Ooh. Garfield's evil twin te Gar I don't think this guy played Garfield Kart. There's quite a lot of reviews like this. I don't think these people played this game. John doesn't get killed in a drive-by. That's a different game. That's from GTA Garf City. That's not from Garfield. The people dope. writing these reviews don't even play the game. Like, why I have a review page on Steam if people don't even have I mean 23,000 hours pretty sure you played the game have to play the game to post a review all of these like positive reviews they're all fake it's just Garfield is God's gift to the human race and the reason <laughs> God left us so long ago is because he was scared of his creation he is the bringer <laughs> of love death light pain joy and lasagna Garfield car is a monument of all of our sins <laughs> Garfield is just too oh my god that reminds me as soon as I saw the grave mind from Halo I just thought of the uwu grave mind so a cancerous video. See, honestly, I love Garfield and his hit popular kart game, Garfield Kart. It's such a fun psychological horror game, you know? It's too scary Rocker for this C guy, for but truly it's a masterpiece. A hidden gem lying beneath the slog of inferior garbage that you'll find on Steam. And honestly, the fact that so many people agree with me should just be a testament to that, you know? There's like barely any negative reviews compared to the over 10,000 positive ones. Like there's no way that a game gets this many positive reviews just for the hell of it. Like it's not not possible that people on the internet would all unilaterally agree to cooperate on something so pointless <laughs> as this just for the sake of a joke. That would literally never happen. I wonder what these negative reviews even say. This game's really horrible. Great, I hope they make a sequel and call it Garfield Kart 2 Furious Racing. Oh, I see. So even the people in the negative reviews, they like love Garfield Kart. I wonder if this guy's been personally visited by Garfield himself like I have. The several graphics set. Okay, you know, I did also, I thought they were weird too, you know, but you have to sometimes just respect the artist's vision, you know? If it has to be this way, then it has to be this way. And this one, I, I can't even say this one out loud. Like, I've already called the relevant authorities, so you viewers don't have to watch. The negative reviews page for Garfield is where all of the scum of the earth go to die. Hang on, wait a minute, wait a minute. Man, even the people with negative reviews on Garfield Kart have, like, you would think they'd be serious, right? Because the game is ass. Like, it is so bad. <laughs> But no, it's literally people with like hundreds of hours also troll posting. Look at this one I just found. Someone left an actual earnest, honest opinion in their review. An actual statement about the quality of a game on Steam in the reviews page for that game on the Steam store page. It's unheard of. What an absolute idiot. Actual moron. Look at this guy. He thinks you're supposed to make accurate observations about a game's quality when you leave a Steam review? Fucking idiot. You're supposed to make the same six jokes over and over <laughs> again about not being able to have sex with the main characters. You subhuman filth. Quick, everybody point and laugh at the fucking idiot on the Steam reviews. Point and laugh now. Man, on, I, I, I'm so confused. How do you fake? I, I gotta Google this. How do you fake hours on Steam? Um, since Steam counts each game's time, if you let 30 games run for 10 hours, Steam will show 300 hour combined play time. Oh, so they literally just open like a bunch of Garfield cart tabs. Even then, that's like, 
How many tabs would you have to fucking open for five and a half years of gameplay in a ten year? Like, bro. Would you just open like a hundred Garfield carts? Why? Like, just for the meme of having 40,000, 50,000 hours on Garfield Kart. <laughs> at least you're committed to the joke, I guess. It's so dumb. But, I mean, at least you're committed. Oh, my God. Uh, anyway, not yet. Don't ever play this game. Or do, and, you know, spoof your hours and make a, you know, shit post about it, but... If, if you actually intend to play a good game, don't play this. It's so bad. It's so clunky. It is such a clunky mess. Uh, but, yeah, let me know what you think below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.